our day 17 of uh, the Overbury harvest. We are right up on the top of the hill at the moment. We are just cutting uh, the first bit of Planet um, Spring Barley. Uh, those of you that know the area will recognise the, uh, the red lights on the top of the uh, what we call the BT Tower. Uh, this is um, a crop destined hopefully for Molson cores, part of our malting barley contract uh, to be brewed into carling over the next sort of 12 months or so. It's just starting to spit with rain. The forecast um, is for kind of rain at any time today. I think we've had a, a pretty lucky day today to be able to keep going as long as we have. We've seen a little bit of sunshine. It looks like there's a shower of rain just over there actually, probably at the bottom of the farm. Uh, that might be making its way up this way. Wind is pretty much disappeared. Um, and uh, barley is uh, pretty tricky to cut when it uh, when the sun goes and there's no wind like this. It just sort of picks up damp. <clears throat> Got a job to separate the grains from the straw and the awns. Um, but the crop's not standing too badly. A little bit uh, sort of on the lean. Um, there's a deer or a hare sort of a trackway in there and a place where they've been lying down so uh, that's the uh, stone tower right up on the top of the hill as well you can see that from the m5 junction 9 if you look to the east then uh, that's where it is uh, so yeah a bit early to say anything about uh, quality yields have been pretty decent um, on the uh, the three or four fields that we cut before managed to cut one field this morning uh, that was that was really flat um, so we had a bit of sunshine it was a good chance to get that done um, and um, yeah I don't know how much longer we'll be able to keep going for now it's uh, quarter to nine um, so probably uh, probably have to stop fairly soon but we'll see I think uh, Tim's probably trying to get this uh, this little field done um, 10 hectare field here so 25 acres um, overlooking Tewkesbury in that direction. Uh, Cheltenham just tucked in behind the hill there. And um, yeah, we shall see how we get on with quality and harvest progress. The forecast for the weekend doesn't look great, um, but we'll, we'll have to see when we get there.